Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I want to talk about uh, one more essential topic in Test Cafe, and that is selectors. And by definition, a selector is a function that identifies a web page element in the test. Uh, the selector API provides a methods and properties to select elements on the page and to get their state. And getting their state is actually very important. And why should you actually care or why should you use selectors? Why don't I just put the element inside the text, uh, inside the functions like this? Well, actually it, you can use it, but beware of a few things. Imagine that the naming of the selectors is, let's say, encrypted or it's very messy or very complicated because it will not be always this simple, such as id submit button. Uh, I've seen a lot of companies using a code which is extremely uh, resistant to testing because they will not provide you with uh, good IDs or selectors and you always need to uh, like use for example let me give you some example uh, such as div li h dot class for example list item etc and this might get very very messy and it's not recommended to use them especially directly in the test because imagine you would be trying to click on something like this and you know what it is because you write the test but imagine someone else will come and it will try to read your test or even modify and he might be completely lost and that's what we don't want to use so there must be a better way to do it and that is using this selector which i have imported here but we haven't used it here so let me give you example uh, let's say i want to extract this uh, this element into its own variable and we can name it in something like name input equals selector and now I will pass it the actual selector value into the selector variable like this and here instead of directly hard coding the first element I can just use name input and if you immediately look at it it's extremely more readable and of course you don't need to store this inside here you can just have these variables in the external files and they will thanks to this they will be reusable across all the tests it's very similar to the page objects design pattern which we'll be talking later but uh, for some reason if you don't want to use page objects or your project is not that big to use page objects and you just want to have your tests readable you can create some selector files where you will always store the files into variables and you will be exporting and importing them across the tests. But uh, using proper naming, for example, well, we could even make it developer name input to be precise. Will suddenly make your tests extremely more readable because if you look at a test, I see, ah, okay, it's typing text into developer name input and the value is John. Well, it's much more readable and especially much more uh, easier to maintain because if I will be pulling these selectors from the external file and I will have this input in, let's say, 50 tests, I would need to go to the 50 tests and uh, update the selector one by one. But thanks to this, you will just hit the file where you have stored your selector and it will update it on the one place and it will automatically update across all of your tests. So similar to this, we can create a selector for submit button. So again, in this case, uh, it's very readable because it's ID of submit button but it doesn't need to be always this easy and 
then we can get the article text and look we can use the selector we can just grab the article header and we can extract the inner text from it straight away and then we can simplify this expect method and we have article text to contain John and like this and if you now look at the test you see that it's much more readable because even the expect function because you look here and you see oh okay I expect the article text to contain John simple and straightforward so if you I can only recommend you to extract the variables to selectors especially if you want to extract the attributes or their state such as in the text etc it will make your test much more readable and much more easier to maintain and push them to the more professional level so if you want uh, try to create one few more selectors try to practice it we can always use this practice website you can for example try to work with the uh, this uh, select box or check boxes etc and yeah you should uh, take the practice in with writing good selectors especially naming and extracting their uh, elements from the web page so i think that's it for this video and see you next time